I left my bed at 5.45am and with some trouble and running managed to get on the 300 bus to Ennis. Out of breath and on the bus, a kind man said, Well done, girly, to me. I decided there and then that he must be from Ennis Diamond and that he was a sign of the kindness that was to come. On the little bus to Ennis Diamond, and sure enough, the well done girly man was right there with me. I learned that Claire are in Division 2 Danger Zone. I went to the cheese press for my first Claire cup of tea. A man asked the girl behind the till what her favourite font was. She said it was Helvetica. The man said he uses Gothic sometimes, and she responded negatively. A lady emerged from down the stairs and told them hers was Comic Sans. I later learnt this lady was the owner. The owner then spoke to a customer and unbeknowingly to her bestowed her wisdom upon me. She indirectly told me that you cannot recreate anything. Cheese, she said, made in any other location is different cheese, even if all the other variables are the same. With this in mind, I left and went to the gallery. I discovered they do not adhere to the rules of time here and decided to take this in my stride. En route to Aldi, I pass by the lemon meringue pie house. Beside the Aldi is a graveyard, which seems wrong, but it also demonstrates the cycle of life. Your trips to the shops are numbered. The first gravestone was of Joseph McCarthy, who died on my birthday in 1972. It read, There is nothing I shall want. I kept this in mind as I went to do my grocery shop. I did some hunting and gathering and swapped the man pieces of circular metal for food and drinks. On my way home, I was drawn by the Holy Spirit into the church beside my house. Inside, they were looking for old specks, old rosary beads, brown coin, foreign coin, used stamps for foreign missions. I peeked inside and was delighted to find that the people of Ennis Diamond are rule breakers and not one item listed was there. Following my own rules, however, I went home and obeyed my grumbling stomach. Day two of creating an art piece in seven days. I had fried eggs and left the house. I felt safely equipped for the day and ready to tackle anything. I went to the library, where I saw this perfectly sized cone in a perfectly sized hole. I realised that some things are just meant to be. I'm in the local library using the computer on the guest pass. It's pissing rain outside and a lady is struggling to use the printer. For fuck's sake, she says. I empathise with her. I have a wobbly relationship with printers in general. There's only one document saved on this computer and it's about stonewalling. It says, Time should be spent looking closely at the traditional stone walls of each locality. They will reveal many secrets. I bought my train ticket home and ended my session 15 minutes and 47 seconds early and headed to the gallery. On leaving the library, I saw this and I thought she looked like Ellen DeGeneres. I followed a sign for matchmaking and ended up in the odds and ends shop, where I bought a happiness diary, which advised me to try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. I took this advice to heart and continued trying to make a piece of art. I bought these beautiful women that I vaguely recognised but couldn't quite place. I went for a walk up past the bus stop. I felt lost and lonely and in need of something or someone to lean on. I needed a drink. I sat in Burns for a relaxing cup of tea, but the music was psychotic, so I tried to not think instead. I looked out of the window and watched people going by and took note of the amount of love here in Ennis Diamond. After reading What Distinguishes Human Understanding, I flicked through the ham book. I found a recipe for fish and felt like I'd been tricked. But they do say not to judge a book by its cover. I took this in my stride, and after listening to some women talking, I left. I lay in the hay, thinking artistic thoughts, until I decided it was not comfortable, and then I went home. On day three, I had a big breakfast. Watered a plant, looked out the window, read my book, and left the house. I saw this building out of my bedroom window and went to identify it. It's the old Sisters of Mercy convent. It's been empty for 26 years. Since lighting hit it in October 1996. That's when I was born. At the back beside the stairs, there was a shrine to Mary. I noticed the stone wall behind her and remembered what I learnt in the library. 
The stone walls have secrets. With this in mind, I went to the waterfalls. I did what I was told. I listened for the secrets. I needed a sign. It's hard making a piece of art in seven days. I came across a shrine and with renewed energy picked up my artist spirits and plodded on. At Tatton's River, I noticed an unusual sign. Maximum fine for dog poo is €1,269.74. I continued along and felt very emotional. I realised that Dublin was not nurturing me and that Ennis Diamond as a town and as an entity has shown me more kindness than my town of Dublin ever has. I decided I needed to quit my job and go off my contraceptive pill. I felt supported in this environment and that it wanted me to succeed. I looked out into the fields and thought some more artistic thoughts. What secrets lay in the rubble? There were some things in my life I needed to iron out. What was I avoiding? And why did I feel so lost? I walked to this mystery location while on the phone to my boyfriend and told him about seeing the waterfall and how I feel like the river was so energised and that it was having so much fun and that I realised that I actually haven't had that much fun in a very long time. We talked about our future and love and about building a home together and about what really matters and decided that everything is silly and that we should just have a baby and stop sweating the small stuff. After we spoke, I found this nest and I thought it was a beautiful sign and perhaps that was the secret in the stone walls. Then I saw this graffiti telling me I was a hoe and that fuck you and it cheered me up enough to get on with coming up with an art piece. After a cup of tea in Alfie's second-hand clothes shop, I went up a hill towards church. Halfway up the hill, the dog poo fine raised €3,000, but at the top it dropped down again to €1,269.74. I gathered some material, felt inspired and went to make some art. I ate a cream egg and I felt like a child after mass. My sister had offered me a cream egg two weeks ago and I had said yes but forgotten to take it in the end. I got up early, left the house quick and took my pill and started day four of making a piece of art. I was looking for divine inspiration a sign or symbol to create, a connecting bridge between my thoughts and feelings. What secrets lay in the new stone walls? The stones have their own language and they refuse to translate for us. I petted the dog and got on with my life. I needed some direction though, some assistance on this journey. So I got some fish and chips and went home to make a piece of art.